Gals, where are the days and the weeks going? I don't know. I feel like I'm just so behind in the garden. And I think a lot of you are as well, like from DMs that I'm getting on Instagram, comments here. It's like this, the growing season is just taking that much longer this year. Like, as we know, things are slower to germinate big time. And oh, I just feel like I haven't sowed seeds in ages. But yes, I've been feeling kind of overwhelmed with everything that I need to do in the garden. And that is something that I have had the chats with people online about because if you're kind of new to gardening and you're not sure where to start, it can be so overwhelming. And actually, it came up on my time hop. Um, so it's an app that I have on my phone that kind of goes back and shows you what photos or what content you posted a year, two, three, four, five. And earlier this week, six years ago, is when we got the garden kind of, I say redone, it was only like a cheap job. Like it wasn't like a landscape job. Um, I'll try and insert the footage here, but I think things like that, like I wouldn't have been able to properly do a lot of that myself because there was a big massive tree out the back and actually it was kind of affecting the, the neighbours at the back. Like when I moved into the house, the house, the tree was already huge anyway. So it's kind of nice to look back at how it was <laughs> compared to how it is now. And like, it's such a work in progress. And I think it's always gonna be because I love the doing. And I can't remember if I said this in last week's video or not, or was I just saying it to Catherine there? But for me, I don't know. Like I, I could probably pay somebody to come in and do all the garden for me. And then I'd be like, now what? <laughs> you know but I love the doing part the doing part is what I know is going to make me feel better and actually I was looking on Instagram this morning or not Instagram uh, Twitter this morning and Monty Don my fave he was saying that this week is national mental health awareness week and that this week's gardeners world is going to focus on how gardening can help mental health and I know like I just feel really like heavy in my head and I'm really like oh so overwhelmed there's so much to do but I know I know for an actual fact for me when I go out into the garden, give me like an hour or so, at least I'm going to come back and feel like a different person. I'm just going to feel lighter. I'm going to feel more accomplished because today's job, hold on, let me just take a little sip of water. <laughs> so today's job is a job that I've been putting off for weeks and the longer I put it off, the worse it's getting, which makes me put it off even more. So I just need to cop on, just do it. I'm going to weed the side border. So on the left hand side, when you go out into the garden. So this is a border that I dug last May. Actually, just over a year ago. I think it was the May Bank Holiday weekend here. I dug it up, I planted it, and the plants just flourished. So right now I have discovered that I am brilliant <laughs> at growing weeds. And I get my little spongy knee pad things. I think it's gonna take me a while. I just wanna do it properly. And I wanna see what plants I have and see what else I can kind of fit in there as well. I might move things around, we'll see, we'll see. But again, I'm just like, oh my God, it's the middle of May. Like, is it too late to be moving stuff around? If not, listen. We'll figure it out. It's going to be fine. The, today's first job is get that left border weeded. When I get that done, I'm going to feel great. I know I will. Then I'm going to do the right border. Okay, that's the mission. Everything else will be a bonus. <laughs> this is the first thing that I got from the salvage yard and it is stunning. I love it so much. Now it's metal and I think it's new. I don't think it's vintage, but my plan for this is to use it as a structure for like plants and flowers and stuff to grow up. I'm not sure what I'm going to plant beside it yet, but whatever it is, it's going to look fantastic. That was 85 euro. Delighted with that. And yeah, I just think it's going to be unreal. I'm thinking maybe more sweet peas or what else? Like even like with sunflowers around it, it might be gorgeous too. These are the next things that I got from the Salvage Yard. So it's a pack of three flower pots, but I really liked that they're on the angle. And I was like, Oh, what if I had like nasturtiums or um, what's some other thing? Like petunias or something coming out. So there's three all together. They look like that on the back. I just think they'd be really nice on the patio or even this little area here that is going to get a revamp, I think, next week. So yeah, three different sizes and this is what I got at the Arboretum Garden Centre so it's a little bird bath I think it was like 50 or 54 euro oh, I love it cute and the fact that it's nice and small means that I'm going to sit it in one of the borders so that's the taller one that I have and I think it really works there I'm going to be planting like putting more pots of like taller plants around it because I want it to be surrounded by plants and I'm thinking I might put the other one in this border. This is the border that we are starting with today. It doesn't even look like a border anymore. Oh, 
it's so bad as in the weeds that I've allowed to grow anyway let me show you my climbing hydrangea is starting to bloom which is gorgeous and it's starting to climb up now I think this is like a three year it's one of those things that the first year it, I can't remember what the phrase is but this will be three years before it kind of starts to fully bloom and look remember last week I was like oh my god more foxgloves I didn't know that they were coming back here this year I'm so happy so yeah this area is going to get a revamp too catmint is absolutely flying it in this pot oh it's so good so I need to put like feed into that as well you can see the, the flowers or the leaves at the bottom are kind of yellow remember last week I was showing you the apples they are still going strong it's really happening on these sticks so I wonder are those the white ones or the green ones so look I underplanted my olive tree with little lavender and it's blooming so we have a mix of like the purple lavender and then we have a white one in the middle as well I do need to get something else to put over on that side look oh my god oh, it's a lupin the flowers because like as you can see the slugs are having a field day here my first yellow rose I do need to treat this for a black spot you can see it has it on some of the leaves look at this rose oh gorgeous as expected the slugs have gotten this one these ones seem to be doing a bit better as well and i just need to figure out what else i'm going to put in here and um, somebody actually said recommended to put to like direct sow some of the seeds like the the same um sweet pea seeds so that we have a constant supply and i was like oh that's a great idea now this rose bush is absolutely flying it so i'm going to tie that in but like that's going to look unreal over the arch look at my poached eggs now just so you know somebody messaged I think or commented last week asking what was like the official or the Latin name I don't know any of the Latin names and somebody else messaged or commented a couple of weeks ago to say I was saying the, the wrong names for something I'm gonna like I don't know any Latin names so just that's I'm just gonna say what I know <laughs> Um, look at these aren't they gorgeous they're Aquilegia is that the proper name I don't know but I love them. Okay, so the border is pretty much weeded and it means now that if I do see any extra ones coming up I can just pull them up as they go and not let it get that bad but like look <laughs> weeds, a weeds so I'm going to get rid of those At the back there we have the verbena that was from last year and that's come back so much better than I thought but <laughs> stupidly last year I placed some of that in the front here so I think I'm going to move that to the back and then I can't remember what these things are I think they're that that's on the table I can't remember but they're kind of tall and purple I kind of stood on one a little bit we have the grass that I can't remember the real name of we call it the peekaboo grass because Matthew loves when we had it in pots he used to it's like my five-year-old nephew he used to hide behind it and then do peekaboo through it <laughs> There and there we have the, oh my god, what is that stuff called? The Terracotta Achillea. Now that grew so much um, last year, so I might try and divide those and maybe put them to the back or move them around a bit. We have the rose bush that we've had for years and look, it has its first little bud. We have more Achillea, we have more Verbena, the grass. And then here, I don't know if it's been like attacked by slugs or what. Here, like there's three um, Carlo Asters. Again, don't know what the real name is, but they're lovely and purple and vibrant. And 
looks like they've been chomped that's that border done I need to charge my camera before I can or maybe actually do you know what I'll do that one and having a half full battery for the camera will make me go fast <laughs> what do you think Okay, it's done. Feel the better of that. That looks great. So I don't think I'm gonna mulch again. I mulched that one a couple of months ago anyway. And at least I can see the space that I have. So if I want to, which I will be, planting kind of annuals and stuff in there. But I'm excited. This catmint is blooming. And look, that geranium has a tiny little bud. Anyway, that is me, done for now. I will tidy all that up after lunch, after I charge the battery, camera and self battery. <laughs> um, but yes, okay, I'm so relieved. See, I feel better now having done that. Do you know, that is a sense of accomplishment. Okay, yes, I'm sitting on the ground. That took a couple hours, but it was a job well done. Um, but now I can kind of see what I have here now and I think I'm gonna plant stuff out in the border. Do you know? So remember these? I got them ages ago and like they're starting to go brown because I've left them just out for so long so I'm gonna deadhead those yeah because I can see little sprouts coming up my deadhead yeah that and that part there mm. still more bits coming up and um, so I thought that that would go nicely there because this is kind of more like a bright border the roses start off with like orange and they go peachy they change color and i think with the purple of the verbena the terracotta like orange of the achillea i think it'll look nice okay not competing with the dog next door let's just do a little bit of a voiceover i think <laughs> my poor little sweet corn oh my god I just left them in that for so long so I'm gonna take six of those put them in here and then somebody gave me the brilliant idea of doing the three sister planting so the idea is you plant the corn then you plant uh, beans which then climb up the corn and then you plant courgettes or squash which will like give like lots of ground cover so these here are beans but they're too big um, now at the moment if I put them on top of the sweet corn they just like overpower them so I'm going to plant those in pots but then get seeds like the bean seeds and plant them um, in with the corn now and then tomorrow Joanna and Will are coming over and I'm going to give them some of these some of the beans and everything just clear out here a little bit and then I'm going to sow more seeds because <laughs> I need some
good day's work, like physical labor. I don't think this is the end of this week's garden video. I feel like tomorrow, maybe I should look in a garden center. Tomorrow, my sister and her husband, Will and John, they're coming over and we're gonna go, there's a local car boot sale. I'm gonna go and have a little look, see if there's any like plants or pots or things that we can upcycle into plant pots. I have so many plants. <laughs> this makes me happy. I'll show you my view here now. This is one of my favorite spots in the garden because I could just sit and look. Now it's still a mess, but let me show you. So here I am with the yellow crocs. And here we have all of my poached eggs, all of the pots. Up here can see the patio, I can see that border, I can see my washing on the line. <laughs> I can see the arch, the veg garden, the other border. Like look at all the plants on the table, like this is the garden of abundance. And I'm only, literally only beginning for this year. I think it's supposed to be nice over the weekend, so I will be back out here because Oh, this is just my happy place. Like, talk about free therapy. I say free. I spend a lot of money on plants and seeds and soil and compost and everything, but this is my therapy. Oh, how lucky am I? Okay, it's the next day. I've just been gallivanting all day. It's been so nice. So, started off today by going to Woody's to get compost. Then my sister and my brother-in-law, Will, came over with their dog, Alfie, and we went to the park. They had the walled garden in that park open as well. So I'm gonna insert a little bit of footage of that because it's lovely. So this is St. Anne's Park in Rohini on the north side. So if you are thinking about coming over and you're wondering what it's like, this is only like the small amount of the park anyway. We didn't do like a big, huge walk today. Sister Jerome was like, oh, we might go to the Malahide Garden Centre. And I was like, I could I could go and have like a little look. So I did have a look. I'm gonna insert some footage to show you what they have. Oh, just they have everything colour coordinated and just makes me so happy <laughs> going around filming stuff, seeing what's new. And um, so she got a few plants as well. They're kind of more yellow toned. Um, and then I show you what I got. Okay. 
did I need another geranium? No, but this one is called Geranium Catherine Deneuve. And that's what she looks like. So it's like a fuchsia pink, like blooms. But I really liked that they weren't, the, it wasn't the usual shape of a geranium flower. Like, that's gonna be fab. So everything that I got today is for that border on the right hand side because that's like the cottage garden border. That's like the pinks and the purples and the whites. So she's, I don't know, she's gonna be fab. So Joanne was telling me about this before we went in and it's this fuchsia baccalaria, okay. And it flowers, it says, from June to October. Full sun half shade. Anyway. Oh, and it says, size when mature is 80 to 100 centimeters. What does that mean? Look at the size of the little blooms. Aren't they dinkity? Oh, I just thought it was so nice. So in that border over there, that's, I think I was saying earlier, I want to keep it kind of pinks, purples, um, whites and I realized I didn't have a huge amount of white stuff yet now I do have a few more seeds to sow but just in case they don't take I got three of these what they called Mattiola in Canna so they had some in like kind of pinks and purples as well but I just got three it's got three white ones because I just liked them <laughs> there was no rhyme or reason now I did actually just so you know um look them up because there's nothing kind of on the label as to what kind of growing um, conditions that they like and I think I remember it said half shade I don't know I can't remember now but like aren't they nice they're kind of like larkspurs but not quite the white things that I just showed you they were part of like a deal so they were 4 99 each or 5 for 20 and I was like I might as well get two more plants to bring it up so I got these things um salvia farina what's it called salvia Salvia Farina Silver Blue. That's the label. And that's the tips there. So they're kind of like, they, I don't know, like purp like bluey, greeny, whitey, purpley. When I saw these next plants, I was like, oh, I got these. Oh, I've wanted these for ages. So these are Candelabra Primula or Primula Bisciania. That's the label. You know me, I don't say the right names, so. So, like, look at the blooms on that. They're like purple with, oops, sorry. They're purple with orange centers. And look, there's more in there. Oh, I'm literally like covering myself in soil. So I got this one. This one, which is like a bit lighter on that one. Like it has the darker, um, blooms on the bottom. Now they all might look the same in the end. That's fine with me. I got this one as well, which is fuchsia. It says reddish um, from April to June and it says it suits a damp woodland garden. So I'm thinking in that border, yeah, towards like the back. How tall did they get? Height and spread 60 centimeters by 40. And I just thought the three of those together, I can't pick up the third one, are just going to be joyful that's all i got stop me from buying plants please anyway i did give will and joanne a lot of um the plants from the table so peas beans sunflowers tomatoes now i do have stuff in the garden that i need to put on but that will be next week's job and then i'll drop them out to them but yes that is this week's garden video i'm going to be busy for the next week planting everything i'm going to sow more seeds and not go to garden centers anyway thanks so much for watching this week's garden video if you enjoyed it please make sure to subscribe leave me a comment let me know am i the only one that just loses the run of themselves in a garden center please tell me no no i'm not buying anymore for like at least a week <laughs> anyway see you next week <laughs>